Reference Materials by Sparkly Barkley Part 2 Atlas and Almanacs In Part 1 we talked about dictionaries, encyclopedias, and thesauruses. Now we're going to go over atlases and almanacs. An atlas is a book of maps. One way you can remember this is by saying, if you want to know where something's at, look in an atlas. Some key features in an atlas are map keys. The map key explains what each symbol of the map means. Another feature is the compass rose. This tells you which direction is north on the map. There are different kinds of maps. One type is a political map. It shows you the political boundaries such as boundaries for countries, states, or counties. Another type of map is a physical map. It reflects the features of an area such as mountains, rivers, and lakes. The last type of map we will look at is an economic or resource map. This type of map shows you the main economic activities that occur in an area. This could be ways that people make money, such as farming, tourism, manufacturing, just to name a few. This type of map also shows you the main natural resources that can be found in an area. This could be things like rocks and minerals, petroleum, or what we know as oil or natural gas. So remember, if you want to know where political boundaries are, such as countries or states, or if you want to know the physical features of an area, like mountains and rivers, or if you want to know what kinds of economic resources an area is known for, like crops or manufacturing, or what natural resources can be found there, like gold or other rocks and minerals, the reference material or source that you need is an atlas. The last reference material we will look at is an almanac. You've probably seen one before, but just didn't know what it was called. Almanacs are printed annually or every year. They are in alphabetical order just like many other reference materials. And they have quick facts, lists, they show graphs and charts, and they can also tell you the rising and setting of the sun and moon, as well as when the tides change in the ocean. Some almanacs that you may know and love to look at already are National Geographic's Kids Almanac and the Guinness Book of World Records. These tell you all kinds of cool facts like the fastest runner or the smallest person, but there are also other almanacs like the Farmer's Almanac, which tells you the weather, sunrise, and sunset times, and when the tides will change. So, if you want to know quick facts like the fastest, or the smallest, or tallest, or when the sun rises and sets, or when the best time to plant a crop is, then you need an almanac. To review, an atlas is a book of maps. It shows you where things are at. And an almanac gives you all kinds of quick facts. Thanks for learning. Created using Powtoon.